One time I was hanging out with a friend at a restaurant and we went and we sat at the bar and we were ordering some drinks and this guy came up to me and he said, uh, excuse me, sir, are, are, are you a real Catholic priest? And, and I said, yeah. And, and he said, I, I just want you to know that I think that the Catholic Church is the most corrupt institution on the face of the earth. And every man who's a Catholic priest, y'all are the most corrupt individuals. And I responded and I said, yes, sir, I just want you to know that I agree with everything you said. But guess what? Jesus Christ chose, 2,000 years ago, chose corrupt, broken, imperfect, sinful men to be the foundation of his church. He chose Peter knowing that Peter was going to deny him three times, knowing that Peter was going to abandon him when he needed him the most. He chose Thomas knowing that Thomas was going to doubt him. He chose these men, these broken and perfect men. And because these broken and perfect men chose to remain in relationship with Jesus, they became saints. And they were used by Jesus to transform hearts and minds 2,000 years later. Sir, I'm broken too. And I know this to be true, that if Jesus chose to remain with them, he's going to remain with me. And if I remain with him, then I have the potential to be healed and to be transformed over time and to be like Peter and, and James and John to, to become a saint. So will you please pray for me to become a saint? And he looked at me and with sincerity of heart, he said, yeah, yeah, I will pray for you. The thing is this, we cannot deny that the Catholic Church is filled with members who are scandalous. The reason why I trust the church is because Jesus Christ trusted the church. I trust Jesus. I love Jesus. And as a disciple, my only mission in this life is to imitate Jesus. And if he chose to work through really messed up, broken people to bring about the kingdom of God, then I believe that he can continue to do that today. And I want to invite you to do the same thing. If you check out my book, Broken and Blessed, you're going to find some practical tools that can help you and help me, help all of us choose a broken, messed up, corrupt church to walk with toward a God who is perfect and who is calling all of us to perfection over time.